Hey guys, welcome to a really quick tutorial today and this is for all the people, beginners and just users trying to get started with trying to get to grips with Unity and just for the first part of call installing the actual engine itself. So to start off, if you want to get hold of Unity for the first time, you can just navigate to unity.com and you'll get a website that looks similar to this. And you'll get the top banner which is for all creators, you can click to get started. Then when we're here, it'll show as a scary pricing page. We can just click we're an individual. If you're a student or a personal, it's pretty much the same thing. If you're a student, you can sign up to be a student as long as you've got your ID. Whereas if we just want the personal version and the personal version is valid, as you can see here, with revenue of less than $100,000 per year in or in a 12 month period, we can get hold of this and we don't have to pay into the pro version of the license. So we can just click get started. Then when we get this page here, we can choose that if we're a first time user, we can start here and it will give you a fun and sort of interactive experience in how to use the editor, the engine and all the things from that. And if you're a returning user, you can go here and you'll just run through the installation without any sort of added information. For new users, you can check out the journey on picking a micro game to be able to learn different elements of the engine but it will show it from there. So for first time users, you can click start here. You'll just agree and download and you'll get the Unity Hub setup, which will just download in the background, which is around 60 or 70 megabytes or so. And once that's downloaded, you can open that up. So once that's the case, you can agree to the settings, choose where to install, and then you can click the button just to run Unity Hub. What you can do then is that you can get the pop-up in the middle of the screen it will say that you need to install Unity and it will come up with Unity 2019.4. Now there is newer versions of currently recording this and they will give you 2019.4 because it is in brackets their LTS version and LTS stands for long-term support. So it's the version which is the most updated at the time of recording and it just gets incremental updates to keep it bug free for the most part while the newer versions get launched and get LTS support part two. So you can choose a place to install, click install. Once you've done that, you'll have a chance to create a Unity ID and you can create a Unity ID using an email address, Facebook or other applicable logins. Once you've done that, you can select a micro game that you want to be able to create, play and mess around in and you can choose any of the examples there. And once Unity has completed downloading and installing, you can just click launch and then you can launch the editor for the first time and it may take a little time just to load everything up but once you're there you can follow the steps to learn about the engine so that's everything that you need to know about installing unity and i will have some videos about explaining about the different types of projects that you can do for the render pipelines and anything else so you can check that out if you need some help and i will leave a link in the description if those videos are not already available so thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.